morning everyone so we have an update it's the day after and here are my three cheeses and what I did was by the way when they came out of the um, the, the steamer they were already nice and firm they weren't super firm but they held their own uh, but I did wait for them to cool off so I was able to take them out of the, um, the container and then of course I always put my cheese in paper towels where it starts absorbing and pulling the water out of the cheese so this way I get a firmer cheese now I've got three of them I did dust them with a little bit of starch I always do that eventually the starch just binds to the skin of the cheese but this is the biggest one I got and you can see it's already a nice firm cheese so I'm really liking the method of uh, steaming rice cheese but because this is just not just rice it's rice plus the pulp that I have left over when I make my creamer or if I'm making milk I'm going to use that pulp in the cheese and it really gives it a nice texture uh, as you can see I've got a smaller one there because we've been eating it but I do have like I said uh, three of them starched and they're going to stay in the fridge hopefully for a while to get nice and hard almost like a parmesan that's what I am aiming for uh, the taste is really really nice um, for taste hopefully soon I'll have a video for you but this is really a nice recipe I'm very surprised because it's the first one I kind of just winged it and I'm impressed with the way it came out so now here is the one that's already been uh, it's already been as you can tell <laughs> eaten here we go it really cuts nice it's still uh, like I said it's beautiful look at that and this is uh, my pulp uh, my uh, nut pulps plus uh, steamed rice and steam uh, and fla uh, rice flour and I love 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 the way it is right now it's uh, it's just a softer type cheese but you can see it's firm I can hold it uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't break on you it's not a soupy cheese where you have to wait for it to um, lose most moisture before it, it's not a cheese where this recipe with the steaming and everything uh, you could actually eat it the day after you could even eat it the day before but it's nice to have a nice cold cheese rather than a hot cheese that came out of the steamer but this is what it looks like right now you can still enjoy it in sandwiches if you're making a hamburger or a hot dog you can eat it that way I doubt this is going to melt I haven't tried it but it's a nice nice cheese delicious taste really really good um, the other two I'm gonna try and age it if I can and get more of a firmer cheese but this cheese is ready to go you've got kids at home you can cut them in strips you could cut them in cubes and they have a great snack to eat really really good so this is what it looks like uh, and like I said I do starch the cheese when I wrap it but there you go very easy very delicious and I have another recipe for you if you want to try I will put the ingredients right on the side where you can follow this recipe the way I did it and again I apologize for being all over the place when I'm making my recipe very delicious very good and like I said you can start eating this the day after or you can leave a couple to age and then maybe grate it on pasta really really good I would add extra salt though um, what I'm doing now is when I'm wrapping it I kind of just add salt right on top and it kind of soaks into the cheese but if I were you I would add extra salt when you're making the cheese because cheese is salty guys it does have like a salty uh, taste to it you don't want to over salt it but I would put a little more so when you see the uh, the recipe is going to have salt plus I say do the plus but really really good cheese I did try the steaming method and I'm pretty impressed especially uh, with the rice flour uh, the rice flour that's where the steaming comes into play because we use rice flour in the recipe 
uh, the steaming kind of swells all that flour and makes it a nice firmy nice firm cheese um, but it does hold together and when it comes out of the steamer it's already nice and firm but I would advise to wait and here I am repeating myself again uh, but I would advise to wait let them cool off before you try to pop them out of the plastic container so there you go guys a new recipe for you and I hope you like it and if you try it come back let me know what you think and guess what until the next cheese or meat recipe guys I'll see you soon For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.